This book won the Young Reader's Choice Award from the Pacific Northwest Library Association. They mention this award at the back of every encyclopedia book I've seen so far, so I'm guessing it's the most prestigious award the series ever got. Argo Funk Book Review, Argo Funk Book Review. Case 1, Mr. Holt's silver shop was robbed today. A gunman forced him to hand over an expensive set of plates. Mr. Holt cleverly held up a silver bowl near his head so he could see the robber's face in the reflection. Encyclopedia calls him a liar. Why? A reflection in a curved bowl is always upside down. Or at least that's how it works with spoons. Anyone who works with silver bowls should already know this information, so Mr. Holt is a bad criminal. Case 2. Bugs stole a candle shaped like a dwarf, and he used it to light firecrackers. When Encyclopedia confronts him, Bugs says the candle's been sitting on a crate by the open door for the past few days. Encyclopedia asks about the wax dripping down the front. Bugs says it's because he lit the candle yesterday. He's lying! Why? The wax is dripping down the wrong side. The breeze from the door would make the wax drip away from the door, down the back. Someone should tell the cover artist about this. Case 3. Bugs has a perfect tan because he spent the entire day on the beach in preparation for a bodybuilding competition. I don't want to think about Bugs meaning in a swimsuit, thanks. He claims that Encyclopedia and Sally stole his watch while he was tanning. The watch is found in Encyclopedia's garage. Encyclopedia says he can prove Bugs planted it there. How? Well, if Bugs was tanning all day while wearing a watch, his wrist tan would be different from his arm tan. This is the third time Bugs has called the police on someone, isn't it? You'd think at one point the police would stop believing him when he accuses the chief's son of being a criminal. Case 4. There's a bear cave in town. No one can go inside it because it's filled with poisonous gas. Which makes me wonder how the bears were able to live there. Wolford Wiggins claims he went inside the cave and found fantastic drawings made by cavemen. The drawings show cavemen fighting animals and dinosaurs. Wilford asks everybody to give him money so he can buy the cave and make it a tourist trap. Encyclopedia says the pictures are phony. Why? Cavemen and dinosaurs didn't live at the same time. They lived millions of years apart. Case 5. A young boy is confused when he sees a man with a fake beard. The man turns out to be a famous bank robber slash diamond thief in disguise. In his hotel room, there's a list of cities... Moscow, Odessa, London, Paris, Palestine, and Athens. Where is he going? He's going to Texas! Those are all cities in Texas, which happen to share names with famous cities in other countries. Can grade schoolers be expected to know this information? No! Especially since the list includes obscure cities with less than 200 citizens. I give this solution zero points, and the internet agrees with me. Case 6. One of Encyclopedia's friends leaves a burger place seconds before it's robbed by a sailor. The police catch a sailor nearby and drag him to the store. The sailor claims he's innocent. Well, I've never been here before. I don't own a gun. If I was guilty, wouldn't I have argued when you brought me back here? Encyclopedia says he's guilty. Why? He said he was brought back here, indicating he's been here before. I don't like this mystery solution. It's arguing semantics. The word back has multiple meanings. It doesn't always mean you've been here before. Like when I tell someone, hey, why don't we go back to my apartment and watch a movie together? It doesn't mean the other person's been to my apartment before, right? I asked my Twitter followers. They were evenly split on this solution, so I'm giving it half a point, even though I wanted to give it zero. Case 7. An old man was at home when robbers came and beat him senseless. He typed out a note that says, The robbers are raving all over the house. They split open the cat. I hid the ring in the vein. Where is the ring? It's in a cane. When he was typing the note, he mixed up the letters C and V due to the head injury. But everything else was typed perfectly? Oh, that seems a little weird to me. Again, I asked about it online. The majority of people think it's iffy, but not a two-thirds majority, so I'm giving it half a point. Case 8. A boy named Red is robbing all the kids in town. 
He does this while pretending he needs change for a $10 bill. Because criminals in this series like having unnecessarily complicated schemes. We know the entire thing is unnecessary, because when Bugs refused to give him change, Red beat him up and threw him in the river. Encyclopedia tries to catch Red red-handed with a witness, only the witness is distracted. So they go to Red, and they catch him with a $5 bill, a $1 bill, a half dollar, a quarter, four dimes, and four pennies. Can Encyclopedia prove Red's a thief? Yes. You can't make any change with that money. No combination of the coins and bills add up to another coin or bill. So that proves Red is lying about making change. Case 9. Encyclopedia has dinner at Sally's house. There's a boy outside, hiding in the dark, holding a camera to a window so he can take pictures of her. This is creepy and weird! I don't care if he's their friend, it is still creepy to sneak up on women and photograph them in their houses without their knowledge or consent. He's getting photos for a photography contest. The winning photo is of a girl lighting a candle at night. Through a large window in the background, you can see another person falling through the air to the ground. Encyclopedia says the picture is fake. Why? Well, you can't see through windows at night. If you take pictures of them, all you see is a reflection. Case 10. Chief Brown and Encyclopedia are fishing when they come across some robbers. The robbers wipe sweat off their foreheads and make up a cover story about being shipwrecked at sea without any food or water for four days. Encyclopedia says they are faking. Why? Because if they really went four days without water, they couldn't be sweating. Also, they would be dead. They would totally be dead. You, you probably should have pointed out that contradiction, Encyclopedia. Okay, well, adding up all the scores, I give Encyclopedia Brown number six. Encyclopedia Brown keeps the peace an eight out of ten.